How's it going guys and welcome to this build, time lapse build of my manual machine. Um, I've seen a 20 minute video on this but look how simple this thing is. You don't need a 20 minute video, this should be a 2-3 minute video tops making it. So I'm just going to make it really quickly. Um, you can freeze frame it at any time and see what I'm doing because it's just that easy to make. It just needs to be a nice short video. Okay, so get your bike nice and level. I just used a bungee cord to, to attach it to the pillar there and then get the measurement for your backboard. Don't need to measure it, just hold it against your wheel and just, just go off that. It doesn't need to be that complicated. Then get your two bits of four by two and make sure you have the factory end pointing towards your backboard so as you get a nice right angle. My floor's not very square here, so I'm using that bit of four by two or a six by two underneath to hold it all nice and level. And then basically screw your bit of six by one into the back of your um, two by fours. Then slot it into place. I'm using that saw blade to get my measurements to actually close it all in and make a proper trough so as it sits in place nice, holds the wheel nice and firm. Doing the two cuts, screwing it back together and then just measure the back gap to get the front gap right in your trough and then just close it in like this with another bit of four by two. There's the four by two being screwed down. Right, so the next bit is you've got to close up the bottom of that trough, trough with a piece of six by one and leave a slot at the back for your outriggers, which I'll show you in a minute. So this is me cutting down the six by one and there it is underneath the, the trough there with the gap at the back. Screw it down in place, get it down on your six by two and then screw down through the one, the six by one into the six by two just to make it easier to flip over like that and screw it down properly. And that's the bike sat in place. So the next bit is your braces. These braces are really important because they hold your wheel laterally. They aren't just to support the backboard there. Um, so just get them in. I got them in roughly really um, at the top at the top side so they can go in nice and neat because they're the same size as the wood at the bottom of the trough. Um, but then get it into place. You can see there it's loose. So I'm just tightening one side in to really nip against the wheel. Um, and then you're onto the outriggers. So this is a piece of six by one that I've not cut down. I'm attaching two bits of six by two to the bottom of it and then it just slots in place there. It's all the same height then and works well as an outrigger. Um, here's Bear just to give me a little hand by eating some wood. And that is pretty much it guys. I need to true mine because my floor's not level. Um, the wood is quite twisted and it's rough as fuck because I made it, but it's pretty good. Really good actually, really easy to make. Okay guys, so that's the manual machine done. It took me about an hour and a half to make that. Um, not a lot of measuring really. I, I did it most around the bike. The bike fits really nice into the trough thing, um, but the floor here is like crazy paving, Spanish crazy paving stuff. So the floor's not level. My wood is all twisted as well, the Spanish the wood here in Spain is twisted to fuck but I'm also not very you know I, I not, wouldn't say I'm not very good at woodwork I don't do a lot of woodwork but I'll show you it in a minute but yeah that's it done and it works to be honest with you it's, it's um yeah it's a bit of a strange feeling it's not the same as manually while you're on the move so it's a bit of a strange feeling but yeah it's going to be a great little way of you just getting that front to back balance it's obviously not going to help with side to side balance or the feeling of actually rolling forwards it's also not going to help with the fact that most of the time that you manual you're on a downhill gradient so there's a chance i might cut the nose off of this at some point so as the bike is starting at a lower angle so it's going to take more force to get it back but yeah let's have a quick look at it so you can see just how rough parts of this are i'm no I'm no carpenter and I just wanted to blast it together. I could do a much better job than that, but I know what this is for. It's not not for show, it's just for purpose. So um, the, the measurements of wood here is slightly different, but um, this, 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 the other side, the two braces, that is the kind of two by four type size stuff. Um, and then obviously underneath here, I'll put a link in the description to a guy that does a really in-depth review of how he's done it. So I kind of made that first, the the um, the trough and then the bracings and then the backboard, which is six by one. And then underneath here, to give you this slot for your kind of outrigger, you use a six by one under, you know, in between the trough and then the board cut short, just so as you can kind of fit your wings in there. And then obviously you've got the six by two of the whole length of the entire thing, really. I mean, it's really self-explanatory how it all goes together. Absolute doddle. Um, I've not measured anything. Nothing is gonna be a square measurement on this because I've just built it around the bike. Um, but that is it. One little tip I perhaps do have is that these saws, uh, most of you probably know this, but um, any kind of half decent sort of, you know, plastic saw, 
that there's a right angle between the, the back edge of the blade and that top of the plastic. And then sort of that there makes a, makes a 45 degree angle with the flat part of the blade as well. That there pressed against the wood. So that gives you a 90 and a 45 degree, which is all you need for this, obviously. I didn't really use it very well on that one, but there you're 245s and then everything else is cut at a 90 degree angle. I've got to do some truing. Mine's not level because like I say, the ground's not level. So I'm going to set this up where I want it and then true it to the ground. And then I'm ready to go for manually and you'll see it's just off to the left hand side. And that's it guys. I'll just do a couple of manuals, see what my, my manuals are like from the get go. Well, that's actually going to be a lot of fun. That's really good, actually. Um, so yeah, that's it. Manual machine, manualomatic, the most savage build on YouTube ever. This is not a carpentry show. It's a mountain bike channel.